Gentlemen, welcome to the channel. My name is Nate. I have 10 fragrances here that are perfect for a suit and tie. A suit and tie brings a lot of confidence. And with that confidence, you need a good smelling cologne. When you're wearing a suit and tie, you can actually wear a little bit more provocative cologne that typically you can't wear if you're wearing a t-shirt. I have a few honorable mentions. I don't have bottles of them. That is why they are on honorable mentions. This would be Creed Royal Oud. That thing is so classy. It's on the higher end scale, but... And then the second one would be Dior Eau Sauvage Parfum. Those two are very classy, very elegant. First one on this list though, I'm gonna go with Mustache Eau de Parfum. This one is a, actually a cheaper kind of scent. You can actually pick this one up for about 40, 50. This falls in the same kind of lines as YSL Tuxedo, which is a very well-known classy ass fragrance. YSL Tuxedo is known as a very high-end luxury fragrance. And this one is the same kind of DNA. There's a lot of patchouli in here. Just, it's, it's a denser kind of scent. So this one is for more evening time if you're going out in the evening wearing a suit and tie. Patchouli heavy. So if you're not into patchouli, I would maybe steer clear of this, but it is a great scent. Very elegant, very classy. Next one has to be Tom Ford Ombre Leather. Excellent, beautiful scent. This one is a sexy leather dominant scent. I love the way this smells so much. It is leather, it's dominant, it's sexy. It's very well-rounded. It's not an off-putting leather. This isn't animalic or anything. This is very sexy, smooth, refined beautiful leather. This is done beautifully. It's one of my most confident wearings. Um, whenever I spray this one on, I feel the most confident. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful scent. Another classy, but this one is a little bit more fresh if you're gonna try to play it a little bit more safe. Um, Blue de Chanel Parfum. It performs really beautifully. It does the whole blue fragrance to a sexy degree. It's, it's not like a shower gel, douchebag, swagger, Old Spice kind of scent. It is just class in a bottle. Citrusy, woody, there's a little bit of musk in here. Incense, lemon, it's just beautiful. It's such a well-blended fragrance too. Chanel does it well with perfumery and they're very well known. Every household knows them. You tell somebody you're wearing Chanel when you're out and about, they're gonna look at you in high regard. And you're also gonna look at yourself in high regard, which is the most important thing. Next one, I used to wear with a suit and tie all the time. Every time I went to a film premiere, I would wear it because I viewed this one as my classier fragrance in my collection back then. But this one, Mr. Burberry Eau de Parfum, beautiful seductive scent. This one is dark, it's mysterious but it still has that versatile edge to where you can wear this as a daily driver. And when I say dark, this is nothing off-putting. This is a very fresh, spicy kind of scent. It's mysterious, it's invigorating, and it just works well. It just works wonders, has the black tie feel. It has the black tie, bow tie, even on the bottle. If you can get this in that $50, $40 range, it's a steal. It just smells like class. A new release here in 2022, Armani Code Parfum. Beautiful, beautiful scent. This one is high class. It smells so seductive. When I first picked this one up, I my opinion was it didn't project out far. Since then, I've been giving it a lot more wear and it does project out. Past personal space, this is an actual projector. I look at this one kind of similar to Allure Homme Sport Eau Extreme. It has that freshness, it has that invigorating style to it. It lasts for quite some time, but it does project out in that first two to three hours. By no means is it the same scent, but it is that same kind of situations you would wear it in. It is fresh, it's aromatic, it's lavender heavy. There's iris in here, which is just beautifully done. It's class, it's class in a bottle. Armani Code Parfum, beautiful, beautiful scent. This next one is super well done and it's highly slept on. Not a lot of people talk about it. So that's Loam, hence by E. Saint Laurent. This one is like the original Loam. You add some ambers in here, just a little bit more spicy nuances. And you got this one. It's classy, it's elegant, it's professional. I wore this the other day. I got a compliment that I smelled really nice. Very simple compliment, but it makes you feel like a million bucks, definitely. Home Intense is one of those fragrances I wasn't sure about picking up because nobody talks about it. And when you're blind buying a fragrance that nobody talks about, it is a little daunting. But this one, sexy as hell, it's gonna get you some good versatility. You can, you can wear this in the cooler months and it's just a beautiful daily driver. And it actually works in the summertime too, maybe in the cooler evenings. It's a very beautiful scent. 
Boss the Scent Private Accord. Let me tell you about this. This is a cocoa, fresh and invigorating in the opening, it's sexy, spicy in the mid. It dries down to this beautiful cocoa. It's just so elegant. There's a lot of woody facets in here, so it definitely retains that versatile woody notes but it just brings in some of that cocoa. It's just so sexy. Next one is by Prada and that's Luna Rosa Black. It's just sexy. It's beautifully done. It's invigorating. It's seductive. It has that class, that elegance, that modern elegance that you're looking for when you're wearing a suit and tie. If you're wearing this and you're wearing a suit and tie, forget about it. You're gonna smell like a million bucks and that's exactly what we're aiming for. So this one has amber characteristics to it. There's a little bit of powdery characteristics in here to blend in with all those spices, but it really dries down, blends down to just a beautiful, classy fragrance. It does the trick. Next one is a fresher kind of take, and this one is Lacoste Loam Intense. This one is classy, it's elegant, it's seductive. When you're dressed up, this thing smells like a million dollars. But the good thing about this one too is you can dress it down and it is a very good casual fragrance as well. But when you dress up, put this thing on, you smell like so good, so invigorating, so pleasant, so pleasant to be around too. This one is a very mass pleasing one too, so it's not like anything off-putting. So if somebody is sensitive to fragrances, there's chances that they're not gonna be like totally off-put by this one. This one would be an awesome scent if you were going to like a summer wedding or a springtime wedding where you were dressed up in a suit and tie and you wanted to be classy, elegant, but you wanted to be fresh, uplifting, and just smell sexy, seductive. Last one on this list, these are not ranked at all, but this one deserves number one. This one is a high class fragrance if you're looking for a suit and tie fragrance. Dior Homme Intense. I don't have to say much about this one. It is sexy, it's invigorating, it's seductive, sophisticated, professional, and just overall elegant. This one has such good characteristics to it. You can actually look at Givenchy Gentleman Eau de Parfum as well. That one has the same kind of characteristics in here. It's a little bit more balsamic and resinous. This one has a little bit more woody facets. A lot of people compare this to a lipstick bag based off that iris note that brings in a lot of powdery nature. If you're not really sure about that iris note, don't blind buy this one. I would actually recommend Armani Code Parfum if you're looking for just a blind buy fragrance. This one also has iris in here, but it's done in a more fresher kind of take. This is not lipsticky at all. This one on the other hand has that lipstick, but it, it's done very elegantly, very classy. Those are my top 10 for suit and tie fragrances. If you guys like fragrance related content, I do new videos Monday and Friday here on the channel, all things fragrance related. Take care guys. And remember confidence is king. Throw your shoulders back own the room.